everyone, it's Irene, and I'm here to show you a tutorial of how I glue the pages in my altered books. And I did a previous video how I tear them out, and I'm here to show you how I glue them in. I just want to show you, this is a book that came right out of um, the Dollar Tree, and this is the same book, as you can see by the title, that has been already torn out and the pages have been glued. And as you can see, there is very little wrinkling. And um, I don't use Yes Paste, I don't use glue stick, I do not do double stick tape, ATG, or anything like that. And you can see there's very, very little wrinkling. And it's nice and smooth, ready to go, ready to do my um, art journaling or whatever I like to do to these books. And I've been doing these for many, many years, and I've been using the same technique. I just um, want to go over some things. I do use Elmer's glue. And I don't use a squeegee, I just use my fingers, and I'll show you how I'll do that. But let's just go over some um, basics. So I open the cover, I save my first page, I save my second, I save my third, I take out eight. This is a book of 335 pages. So in a book like that, I usually take out eight. Then I save the second page, I save second, take out eight, flip over two, take out eight, flip over two, take out eight, and so on. When you get to the end of the book, and I'm just going to go to this book right here because it hasn't been glued. This is what it looks like when all the pages have been torn out, okay? And what I do is I don't glue from the front of the book. I go to the back, I flip over the last page, and if it's attached, if this second page from the back is attached to the very, very last page, as you can see here, it's very attached here, even though the binding is way inside here, I glue this page to this one. And let me just show you what I do. I just take out my Elmer's glue. I hope the camera picked this up. I put a little bit in the binding. I put a little bit on each side, and I'm going to create a pocket, so I'm not gonna do all four sides. I'll just do all three. So as you can see, a bead of glue in the seam, a bead of glue on top, and a bead of glue on the bottom. And as you can see, I didn't go all the way to the edge because when I put this page down, use my finger to swoosh, swoosh, and that is a, uh, uh, a technical term. I just press down very lightly to make that adhesion. See right there? I have now created nothing has oozing nothing has happened on the outside of the book it's all neat and clean and I got that bead of glue going when it dries I will show you what it does with the pocket so then the next page I turn over I turn over and I'm looking for where my torn pages are here they are okay so on this particular book I decided to make some plain ones so it all depends on how you plan out your book. And um, on this one, apparently I chose to keep that one for the design. And I'm gonna just find my middle here. Because you have to kind of plan out how you want the book to be. And I guess I wanted to save this beautiful design that naturally came with the book, so I'm not gonna do nothing with this page. But I am gonna make these two into a pocket. So I'm gonna put a bead of glue in the binding a bead of glue on the bottom, and a bead of glue on top. Not too close to the edge or to the bottom. Flip that page down, my finger, finger. There's no oozing, nothing has happened there. No mess, no fuss. And so then I turn over the next page. That's where I ripped out my pages. I put, and I, I saved those pages in there. You know, I didn't pull them out. Some people go in there and clean it up. Don't clean it up. I tried to leave that alone to keep the integrity of the original binding. I take my Elmer's glue, I put it in that binding, a bead of glue, a bead of glue on the bottom, a bead of glue on top. And because I want this also to be a pocket, I'm not gonna glue this right here. And as you can see, there's my glue. I turn that page, I put, use my finger, and there it goes. The reason why I start from the back going forward is because when the nat book naturally closes, that binding will lay correctly with how the book has made. 
If you go the opposite way, you're, ba you're putting a bend in the pages with that wet glue, and then you get a huge bubble, a huge bend, a huge ridge, whatever you want to call it. So out of uh, experience over the years, I have figured out that if you go from the back forward, you will create these beautiful pages. So I'm going to open the next page, put a bead of glue in. As you can see, I don't go all the way to the top. Here's on bottom, here's on top. Let me just get this piece of glue out of here. Okay, just wanted to show you that. Easy peasy. Take that page, and because this is going to be a pocket, I put that down, use my hand, smooth it out. There's no oozing again, and on you go. I made quite a few of these. I uh, have production line, and I just want to show you real quick. Here are all the ones that I've glued and torn out and ready to go. And I have already planned out how I want them. And I usually write in the first page what they are. So this particular book, every three pages, there's a pocket. So here's a pocket. No pocket here. No pocket there. No pocket there. And this should be a pocket. And see, by not gluing this shut, I have created a pocket. And as you can see, my pages are shut, they're clean and neat, there's no mess, there's no crinkling, it's all straight, all done with the really cheap Elmer's glue, um, if you do use Fabri-Tac, which is a great um, glue, it's about $10 a bottle, you have to squeeze quite hard with the bottle, and um, if you do a lot of these, squeezing motion can start hurting your wrist, so... Um, that's why I like to do these. Here's one I've done. And this one right here, every other pocket, page is a pocket, so this is ready to go. All I have to do is cut out my paper, cover this up, and all the pockets that I want in here that I planned out for this particular order is ready to go. So, And then you can do some other kind of techniques of how you bend over the pages. And here, every three is a pocket also. That seems to be a favorite because you don't want to overstuff these um, books with pockets. You know, you, by the time you end up sewing all your pages up, that's what you wish to do, and putting in all your text spots and tags and ephemera, this book becomes a huge alligator mouth. But as you can see, the binding's quite neat and quite well done. Every page here is a pocket. So here I've chosen that every page was going to be a pocket. So for this particular one, that's going to be a fun, really big, juicy journal. Uh -huh. But as you can see, the pages are not wrinkled. There's no mess. The binding is just awesome. Not too much wrinkling whatsoever. And you know, you guys, these are homemade. Your crafting style is your crafting thumbprint. What your take is on these is a reflection of you and your crafting style. So every journal is a piece of art. In my opinion, I believe that to be true. Um, these are a lot of fun to do. Um, go out there and buy some books, have some fun. And with the torn pages, you can make flowers and pockets and tags and so many other fun things for these books. You can cover envelopes and make tuck spots. And oh my gosh, the list is so long. There's been so many creative people out there who have been making some fantastic things with extra pages. And so it's been really fun watching everyone. But um, I hope this made sense for the people who are wondering how I glue my pages down. And what I use is just this Elmer's glue. This is about $1.30 and really cheap. Um, so it's really fun to use to make. And um, the orders keep coming, which I'm just so excited about. It keeps me busy. It keeps my night full. And I have something to do while I take care of my mom. So that's great for me as you guys all know so anyway I hope that answered some questions for everyone and I hope you guys give it a try love to see what you guys can come up with I've been seeing some wonderful wonderful books out there and it's been so exciting so take care everyone thank you so much for stopping by thank you to all my new subscribers welcome to my channel I hope I can motivate and inspire for you to go out and create you know my my thought of crafting knowledge is that uh, you know how they say pardon the expression it's like manure if uh, if it's not worth a thing if you don't spread it around encouraging and inspiring others to learn to grow and to create 
So when you um, share your crafting knowledge with the crafting community, uh, you you know it's a it's a friendship of you know you take away what you learn, go out and create, and then other people's learn from what you make. So it's such a wonderful wonderful co crafting community. I'm so glad to be a part of it, and uh, I look forward to seeing everyone's. Uh, videos out there on these beautiful journals. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by once again. I really appreciate it. I know there's some awesome choices out there. Thank you for making me one of yours for tonight. Have a great evening, everyone. Bye-bye.